Hello. Hello, people. People in the world, people in the house. Hello to me. Worst lighting in the world. And I am in this bathroom. This is how I do them. This is how I dry them. And after I wash them. I just wash them in the sink. And then I hang them up. Let them dry. This part up here that gets wet. That have the clips on them. But. After I wash and condition them. I dry them with the brush, the blow dryer brush. I try not to get any of the product directly on the um, hair so that it doesn't get greasy um, and that it's, you know, it stays um, light. Put in my hair. To do my edges because um, I just wipe it right around my edges when I'm about to do a ponytail. And then I just um, do my edges instead of doing the whole hair. The whole head don't need to be done. So she's not going to see all that. You know, I see all that and I just put a ponytail. Ponytail in. So. Because he said yes to both of those answers. He hadn't spoken to her in a long time. And he spoke and he speaks to her on a daily basis. Well, he hadn't spoken to her since the show wrapped. And he speaks to her on a daily basis. That's what he said. So both them answers can't be true. He realized that he said both those answers. So I, I guess he was on Dancing with the Stars. And then they said they just bought a $9 million house. Really? How the fuck you paying for a $9 million house? Not making YouTube videos.
Because YouTube ain't paying nobody enough money to pay for a $9 million house. So now here you go. With your executive title. And then the show closes down. I just learned all of this. I didn't know who this man was. But y'all done ran your mouth. And got the damn Ellen show. Shut the fuck down. Not just him. Him and everybody. You done got your damn. You, you brought your money. Shut the fuck down. Because y'all running your mouth. The steady check that was coming in is no more. See, see, this is what y'all do. This is what y'all do. Not just him. Everybody running your mouth, being the fuck sensitive. See, in my day when I was coming up, you just went to work, did your job, and you didn't give a fuck what nobody said. You just got your goddamn paycheck, went home, came back, did your job, and did it again. You talk shit about each other at the water cooler and, and, and he, he, you he keyed it up, you shut your mouth, you went home, you came back and you did it again. Anything that was said at the job was just shit you said at the job to each other, about each other, you didn't take it to heart, you went the fuck home, you didn't even remember what the fuck he said to each other because it was just said in jest. You don't remember that shit. Half the shit that my co-workers said about me and I said about them, you all will break down when I was where I'm 55. So back then, we just said shit to each other, face, in jest, just playing around. Because we, you know, just passing the time in the day because we work hard. We worked as a team. We got shit done. So when we looked up and we came up for air, we joked around about each other about ethnic things that took place in our culture. And we knew we were just kidding. Black, Hispanic, white, Jamaican, Jewish. We, we were just things that happened in our culture. We were just joking about. Nobody took none of this shit to heart. Nobody took it home. Nobody brought it back the next day. If you was heterosexual, if you were gay, we joked around about it. Because we accepted each other. We weren't cracking on each other. We were accepting of one another. You motherfuckers today, y'all want to run and have a lawsuit. Y'all want to run and it, it hurts your feelings. I don't know why. We were finally talking about it. We were finally coming out about it. The only thing we didn't laugh and joke about is if somebody was on drugs and they didn't have no uh, no uh, drug, you know, uh, anonymous, AAA anonymous things where you could go unless you were like, uber rich. So we couldn't really talk about that because you lose your job. Like if you was on drugs and stuff, we, you wouldn't have that. They got it now so that you can't lose your job. So if somebody was a cokehead, we kept that shh, that was shh, you know, or who was sleeping with the boss. You, you don't, we didn't talk about that. <laughs> that was shh. Then you just went back and you did your goddamn job. That's it. Y'all motherfuckers too sensitive. about shit that y'all shouldn't be sensitive about. So now the show was shut down and this man don't have no way to pay for a $9 million house. He is black. He not gonna make the type of money he was making at Ellen, dancing on YouTube. Got two, three kids he got to take care. Got a wife he got to take care. He assessed the situation, went in there, shot himself in the head. Your insurance policy says you can't get paid if you commit suicide up to one year. 
I know they had that policy more than one year. Now she can get millions of dollars. She in there without her man. And when you're a woman that marry a man because you want him to be a life park partner, you don't want no goddamn money in a house. That's what I told my children's father. We, we said we were going to wait until we got in our 40s. And if we weren't married to anybody else, we weren't going to head, go ahead and marry each other. But by then, I was sick and he was sick. And I physically, I couldn't take care of him. So if something happened to him and he needed me and, and my back went out, I'm not going to sit there and watch him die and I not be able to get to him. I not be able to at least pick up the phone and call 911 and watch him die in front of me. So I'm like, good. The, the offer of getting a house, <laughs> what you you got like what nine, ten more years left. I'm still gonna be stuck with a house. What the fuck? I wanted the house to raise the kids in. They almost grown now. Um, I, I don't want a goddamn house. I want the I wanted you. And <laughs> sure enough, he died ten years later. So I'd have been stuck with a house. But what I want with a house. So it, as it turns out, I went to prison for crimes that I didn't commit and he married someone else. And she got a house, but she ain't got him. So that's not what I want. When you love a man, you want the man. So DJ Booth's wife, she got the money, but she ain't got the man. And with Cliff, I don't even know if we would have been able to get enough insurance to pay the goddamn house off. So I'd have been stuck for the house with bills. No, thank you. Bills and memories of him. In the house. Anyway. Fate would have it that I meet someone else because I outlived him too. But <laughs> um, just do your hair. Mind your business. So this is what I do to, to get my ponytail. <laughs> I swear I'm going to live to be 150. <laughs> That's the goal. 150. <laughs> All right. So once I get the edges, <laughs> once I get the, this part straightened, <laughs> once I get this part straightened, um, <laughs> like this, come around with the brush and I comb up the edges like this just to make sure that, you know, they're, they're comparable to the hair. And then just keep going. And it's just so easy, and, it, and it, at night it just comes out just as easy. Ah, and then make sure that it covers this part completely. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna take that piece out. All right, should I take it out, or should I leave it in? Yeah, I'm gonna take it better already. Let's see. 
looks better already, girl. Then I go over the braid. Right. And I try to blend it in with the hair and put a little, I put a little, uh, just put a little uh, thing at the end. Not, not anything. Not Okay, and that's how we do our hair. Do our hair. Do our hair. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. But that's the final look. That's the final product. That's how it turned out. And uh, it's good enough for where I'm going. I'm only going to the motor vehicle. Yeah, it's good enough to uh, get me there and get me back. Mm hmm. Got my eyebrows on, uh, eyebrows, eyelashes on good enough. They could have been better. Like I said, I don't wear makeup, so sometimes people think I have makeup on. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is it. Got my lips on. This is it. Um, you want to get in there and see it? <laughs> You want to get on top of me? <laughs> okay, get on top of me. But I, I, I promise you, shh, shh, whoosh. <laughs> Grab my phone and my hair. <laughs> you gonna get some lice all in your motherfucking eye, bitch. Get up off me like that. You don't need to. <laughs> you do not need to. Um, you don't need to be on me like that. Do not need to be on me like this. Is where I hang my hair, right with my clothes. <laughs> this is where my hair hang, <laughs> right with right with my clothes. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Put on my socks. In my shoes. And we out. Peace.